Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It is Thursday, July, uh, August 17th, 2023, and my name is Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, and that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So good morning and welcome. Thank you for being here. Hey, Lori, first one this morning, liked and shared. Thank you, Lori. Um, okay, so my name is Jennifer Cotton. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 21 years now, almost 22 years in November. Um, so I do this as a business, so please feel free to give this video a like, a thumbs up, a, um, a heart emoji, whatever you would like, and then please feel free to comment on this video, which um, helps me, and then for doing that, for commenting and or sharing the video, and then comment that you shared, so I'll know on YouTube or Facebook, uh, you'll be entered to win the three cards I'm going to make today. I'm like looking for my stamp sets. Um, I'm going to make three cards today using these two stamp sets, Bird's Eye View and Every Day Thanks. So, um, all right, more people are here now. I was getting worried. It like didn't look like it normally does. Um, so good morning to Marsha and Chris in Ohio Iowa. I don't know why I said Ohio. Um, Marsha is over on YouTube. She says, please hit the thumbs up next to the live chat. This helps Jennifer. Thank you, Marsha. She, she is so nice. Um, and then a lot of you are on watching on my VIP group. And I'm holding my iPad in my hand because my stand broke. It's very old, so I'm not dissing this stand at all. I've ordered a replacement that's coming today. But this is what I clip my iPad to so I can see my video and make sure nothing's wrong. And this part just completely, it broke right here. So it won't hold it up. And when you put the iPad in here, it's very heavy. So no matter how strong this gray part is. And it fell down yesterday. I thought I had it rigged and it fell into everything. So I was like, okay, no, you can't use that. So anyway, I'm having to look at your names on my iPad here, but it's not clipped to anything. It's laying on my table. So that's going to be a little <laughs> different today. But I see Marianne, Landa. Pat, good morning, everybody. Um, Linda in Mansfield, Lisa, she says, hello, Ms. Jennifer. Um, so good to see you guys, but I may not be able to see the names as fast today on the iPad because it's over here on, laying on the table. Usually I have it right to the my left of this camera. But anyway, um, good morning, everybody. Margo, good morning. Tracy, good to see you as well. Darlin in sunny Hollywood, Florida. Um, I'm going, I'm making sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, Vicki, good morning. Charlotte, good morning. We have Facebook users shared. Good morning to all the happy stampers. And Julie, good morning and thanks for sharing. Okay. Um, so in this video today over on YouTube, I will add some time stamps for you on YouTube. Um, I have to do it manually. So that'll be later today after the video has finished. Um, but then that will allow you to skip around to the parts you want to see, maybe second card, specials, whatever it is. Um, so you just have to click show more. Let me put this back up for a minute. Click show more on the video description in YouTube. That will open up my full description, which has all my links, information, and then the timestamps will be there later. And then I'm going to add a link over here to just take you straight to my blog. I'll add that tomorrow based on when YouTube lets me add that. My blog is stamptherapist.com. So um, you can type that in and go there or you can use that link tomorrow up here in the corner. Tomorrow is August 18th. Okay, so there's that. Um, Kylie, good morning. Hey, uh, Chris, thanks for sharing. Okay, so... Uh, by the way, the winners of the cards can be in the U.S. And then um, if you're out of the country, you'll get a PDF tutorial instead as your prize. So, and not of these cards, of something else that's more valuable. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to go over my upcoming events. I do Stampin' Up! as a full-time job, which means I 
offer tons of it or for me i should say everybody's different for me that means i offer tons of events that anyone can take all over the united states and if you're outside of the us you can take the pdf tutorials of course my team gets my pdf tutorials for free so join my team get all my pdf tutorials for free i was behind and i just uploaded a ton of them yesterday to the facebook group the retreat um a couple of online order specials. I can't remember what all, but oh, with a Kiwi class, I uploaded all those yesterday to my team group. But anyway, they get those free. But anyone can take the classes in the US. Some are offered in person. All are offered to go. Um, okay, so let's come back here and I will talk about my four classes I do every single month without fail, card class, scrapbook class, stamp a stack, and sampler, they're all happening this Saturday, so in like two days from now in DeSoto, Texas, but they are all offered to go. They get mailed out the following Monday, so whatever date that is, Monday. Hey, Lou, thanks for sharing. Good morning, Lori. The 21st, they'll be mailed uh, or pick up whatever people selected. Um, Jennifer, good morning. Good to see you here. Lou, I said, I just said hi to you, Lou, but good morning. <laughs> Ro, good morning. Thanks for your Lay Shops cards. Yes. Show my ladies had lots of wows. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, Lou, thanks for sharing. And Mary Ann, good morning to you. Okay, so, um, oh, the four classes. So card class is four cards for $15 free with a $20 order. Uh, we have one packet left. That class is always while supplies last. We have one left and we're using the inked and tiled bundle and the nature's prints dies. In person or to go, four cards, 15 free with a $20 order. Uh, scrapbook, we have zero left. So we sold out of scrapbook. So a hint about scrapbook class this month. Um, I designed the cards for today off of the scrapbook pages. So if you're taking scrapbook class, you're going to get some instructions in these cards today. But that's a side note, or at least two of them. We make three pages every month, 12 by 12. And the third, this time, the third one is with textured floral bundle. I'm not making those today, but my samples are not here. They are with uh, Chris, who's cutting that class for me. Um, okay, and then we have sampler and stamp a stack. I have one of each left. The earthen textures 12 by 12 sampler, gorgeous in my opinion. <laughs> um, you can still sign up for that class um, to again in person or to go. And then stamp a stack with the so refreshing bundle. I have one packet left, 12 cards. Um, both of the, these classes are $37. They include over 20 in merchandise plus all the projects we cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything we can. Thank you this month to Landa, Karen, and Chris for doing all of that. Um, okay, then I have the horse. Oh, by the way, I'll give you a sneak peek of that is stamp a stack. That is sampler. And that is card class. And then this horse and sleigh class, this is my first Christmas class of the season. I personally love these cards. I think, personally, I think they're amazing, but I did, you know, design them. So that might be biased. And um, you'll make eight cards. This is to go only. You will, uh, all my events include a PDF tutorial. In person to go, it doesn't matter. You get the PDF tutorial if you take the class or just go to the class registration if you only want to buy the tutorial. Use the class registration. That goes for this class too. Anyway, hey Tara, um, just saw you come on. Shannon, Ramona, all right. Um, horse and sleigh. So you need to register by August 20th. That is this Sunday, three days. It will be mailed by August 29th and it includes eight cards, four designs and 30, over $35 in merchandise. So these are the card designs. I'm going to give you the quick sneak peek. There's a couple of fun folds here that I think are really cool how I did them. And of course you'll get that PDF tutorial and all that. Or you can just sign up for the PDF tutorial only, but you have to do it by August 20th. That is your deadline for all of the registrations for Horse and Sleigh class. So register for that. Uh, the link, by the way, to everything I'm talking about today 
with one exception, will be in the 1 p.m. email. Just make sure you're signed up for my email newsletter. That's the best way to get all of my class registration links. And I also recommend you join my VIP Facebook group. It's like called Jennifer's, let's see, it's right here. Jennifer's VIP customer group. See it at the top? Ooh. Jennifer's VIP customer group. There at the top, you can see the name. That's the, that's the group. Okay. Um, just ask to join and I will let you in. Shannon, good morning. Hey, no problem. Let's see who's late. Zana, no problem. Hello. Okay, so there's that. Next up, holiday extravaganza. So I have pulled out the stuff I'm going to use for this one. This is in person or to go September 9th in person, mailed September 11th, registered by September 3rd. Um, this new holiday catalog is, in my opinion, the best yet. And so if you come in person, you'll get to make eight projects using four new stamp sets or bundles. Um, you will uh, get to take advantage of my BOGO sale, see two stamping demonstrations and two display stampers. Like you'll get to see their projects. Um, you get an assortment of new accessories you get to keep and uh, you'll use some on your projects, like a rhinestone here or whatever, and then keep the leftovers. Uh, In-person includes lunch, $50 plus door prize entry for everyone in person and to go, optional card swap, displays, etc. cetera. Um, and there is a Facebook group for this event. The, um, what was I gonna say about it? Oh, I lost my train of thought. But it's a lot of fun. You definitely should come in person, but you definitely should take it to go if you cannot attend in person. So in person. So we are using the Merry and Bright bundle. I got myself confused on how to go back to this camera, which is silly. It's so easy. Um, I have these bundles pulled out right here. Oh, Merry and Bright bundle. I don't have with me. Karen has it. She's making a swap for me. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, because I'm going to Vegas next week with Stampin' Up for a leadership training event called Backstage. And Karen's making a swap for me with Merry and Bright, which is probably going to end up being one of your cards you're going to make at this kickoff. Um, so I don't have that bundle here to show you, but I do have the cute designer paper, which I showed on last week's haul video. Um, but it has these Christmas lights in the set and bundle. I ended up playing with that at retreat to make the swap. It's these lights are so cute, y'all. So um, that is uh, FYI, one of the bundles we're using. Then we are using the, I'm going to go back to this graphic, sorry, but it's written here for me. Uh, oh yeah, Autumn Leaves and Pick of the Patch. So Autumn Leaves is this bundle here. Or, uh, I did not pull the leaf, the dies out. Sorry, <laughs> that on the wrong camera. I'm a hot mess. Um, this stamp set here and the Autumn, all about Autumn designer paper that I, um, showed last week, plus the dies, of course. I just didn't pull them out because like they're the matching dies. So we'll make two cards with that one. Uh, also, we'll use these adorable um, adhesive back speckled dots. Love those. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, pick of the patch bundle. And I'll probably do one Halloween and one fall with this one, um, probably for the class because you can make a little jack-o'-lantern and it has Happy Halloween. So that would be super cute. We'll get one Halloween in there all. And then last but not least, the Joy to You stamp set and gorgeous handcrafted elements dies, which are kind of like, um, I mean, obviously this one is an ornament. The rest can be ornaments or other stuff. Okay. So hopefully that clears up what I'm using for the extravaganza. Guys, make sure you register for that in person or to go. Um, Catch up when, oh yeah, when are Christmas stamp stacks coming? I did see your question, Marianne. I just couldn't interrupt my personal train of thought. Um, next month, they start next month. So that is September. They'll be at September, October, and November, three months. So this class, I'm considering it my first st Christmas stamp stack. It's just priced differently and you get eight cards. Um, you'll be able to create more on your own, of course, with all of your leftovers. But this is my first Christmas class of the year. It's just not offered in person. 
And then September, October, and November, Stampa Stack will be Christmas themed. So you'll make 12 cards each month. So that's 10, 20, 30, 36 cards if you take all three Stampa Stacks starting in September. Um, so hopefully that answers that question. And I may offer other Christmas stuff like I just don't know yet. Um, let's see. Sorry, I can't see all the names unless I pick up this iPad. Um, Oh, yes, Anna and Cindy. Good morning from Rhode Island, Cindy. Yes. There is a little link in over in my business Facebook group. If uh, face business, no, in my Facebook group, if y'all are watching there, there's a link to StreamYard that um, you can give them permission to show your name to me if you want to click that link. And then it'll show up on this side over here. Um, hey, Debbie, good morning from work and thanks for sharing. Um, who Cindy Owen, good morning to you. Thanks for sharing. And Rosemary, good morning to you. Okay, so we talked about, oh, and I forgot to show these with the Merry and Bright, but we're definitely going to have to use those. I used them in that swap I made. I love these. They're called iridescent adhesive bath backed discs, and they're just super shiny, flat. Like, I love them so much. I want them in every color that we sell. Um, Okay, so that's that event, Holiday Extravaganza. All right, everybody's been asking me about this. And of course, we've known it's coming, Alejandra and I, but the paper share, ribbon share, and paper share party are being released today at 4 p.m. Central. I will email the link out at 4 p.m. Central today. Um, but I have the details, which I printed, and I forgot to take off my printer. Let me go grab it. Um, also, as a side note, I threw that that um, iPad stand on the floor earlier, and I almost tripped on it just now because I forgot I threw it down there. Okay, so paper and ribbon shares from the holiday catalog. You can also take the party, which includes 12 make and takes designed by Alejandra Gomez and me, um, and a Facebook party and like all kinds of stuff with that. Um, so. This is the holiday catalog. You can register for it starting today at 4 p.m. Central. Um, you're going to get a sampling of every single designer and specialty paper in the holiday catalog. We do six by 12 inch pieces um, if it's 12 inch paper. And then six by six if it is that size already. You're going to, with the party, get your PDF tutorial and video instruction. We make the cards step by step on the Facebook group in the party. They will be recorded. You don't have to be present. Um, bonus project ideas and mystery stamping, door prize entry, 12 make and takes. Um, we're using the So Sincere and Modern Garden stamp sets. They're so sincere right here for our make and takes. Now, this is all optional. You can just take paper or ribbon or both ribbon and paper and no make and takes. Sorry, I don't know my angles today. But if you want to do the make it takes, these are the stamps we're using. Kind of obvious, you could substitute different flowers and words. So, there you go. Um, but yeah, that is what we're using. Um, I'm gonna ask Alejandra a question about this though, in case we wanna change it. I don't know if she's watching my video. I have a question for her. Let me write it down. <laughs> um, okay, so. We might change that, but let me ask her before we release it at 4 p.m. Central. Um, okay, so you can take the paper only, the ribbon only, or paper and ribbon only, or you can add on the party. The party is only $20 extra, 12 make and takes, a gift, PDF, Facebook party. Like that $20 is the best deal you'll ever spend, but you don't have to. Um, you do have to add on the ribbon share if you want to use that ribbon in your projects. We don't supply the ribbon for each card because you can get it in the paper share. Um, all the prices are in the registration. It's all different depending on which version you're taking, if you're adding on the stamp sets, etc. And fun facts, 12 designer papers, six specialty papers, total of 59 sheets of six by 12, 21 sheets of six by six, total of 80 sheets of specialty and regular all together. Wow. Um, 12 make and takes, you'll use the designer paper from your share to complete, of course, eight new ribbons, two and a half yards of each equals 20 yards, 
Woo! We do two and a half yards on our ribbon share. Bonus gift with the party chance to win prizes. Okay, there you go. There it is. Everybody's been asking. The info is out. Hey, Debbie, good morning. Thank you for sharing. Cynthia got her pre-ordered at, um, at paper. It is beautiful. Yes, I think you meant that paper. Um, yes, all the papers are so awesome. Love the stamps and dies. Yay. And Zana, thanks for sharing. Okay. Um, okay, next up, the Jen and Jen Stamp Camp. This is Genevieve Co. in Canada and Jennifer Cotton in the U.S. So if you live in Canada, click my link. And then in that description, click the link to register in Canada with Genevieve Co. for the same exact class. We are using the very cute bundle and suite for these make and takes. 10 make and takes. This is an online camp. Uh, you'll get mailed your packets, PDF tutorials sent out, and then you'll complete them on the PDF with the PDF tutorial. We're also going to use the memories of more and the cards and envelopes and the designer paper. And this gorgeous, gorgeous blue sparkle ribbon. And we're going to use these adhesive back glitter sequins which aren't really sequins. They're not. They're like the disc, but with glitter. They're flat discs. Discs. Okay, so um, that's the camp with Genevieve. Ten projects, a fun Facebook party, chance to win lots of prizes, PDF tutorial, bonus um, videos in the party. And then within that camp, you can add on my sending cheer class, which will use the dies as well. But um, I just pulled out the stamp set. Super cute. My team has been making some cute projects with that. So I might just have to copy some from them. But anyway, and Genevieve's class is the autumn leaves bundle. So she's going to make some fun fall cards for us with that one. So. You can take my class only, her class only, camp only, or mix and match. So just click that registration link and you will be, at, like all the info will be there. 1, 1 p.m. Central today is when the email goes out that will have all those links and then you'll get more, um, <laughs> more links. Okay, so thank you guys. Um, for the compliments, Jennifer's card classes are awesome, reasonable, and fun to do. Thank you so much. That's from Marsha. Marsha also said, or she's basically saying it on two um, platforms, which I appreciate very much. Um, so thank you, Marsha. Ooh, Zana, I love the bears on your to-do on your to-buy list, to-do list. Um, all right, I'll move all that out of the way. What is next? Oh, Jen and Jen, you need to register by September. The event is happening September 30th. You need to RSVP by September 17th. Um, anytime I do Facebook party events, it's recorded. You don't have to be present on the day of the event. Um, but anyway, that one, register by September 17th, mailed by September 25th, and the party is September 30th. Okay, in-person retreats, I think. Oh, by the way, here's a graphic for the gin. There's a picture of Genevieve. Super awesome demo in Canada. Um, yeah, so there's the info about our classes. And then I think I actually updated this document and saved the right file and put it in this other file for this video. So retreats. October 2023, we are having a holiday retreat. So holiday themed retreat but in person is full. It's at a different location. It's just full. It's not going to have a space open. I highly doubt, <laughs> but um, it will be offered to go. So yes, a holiday retreat in a box is coming and you will be able to register for that. And it's happening in October. I forgot to write down the date, but um, toward middle end of the month. March 28th through 31st, 2024, and June 20 through 23rd, 2024. Retreats in person in Temple, Texas are open. You can register now. We have spots available. Bring your friends, etc. cetera. Um, we just had our retreat in Temple this past weekend. It was amazing. As always, you get an eight-foot table. It's so much space. Um, there's 
plenty of walking room between people when you go down the aisles. Great lighting. Uh, of course, your meals are provided. You get a bed to sleep in. It's awesome. So, and then of course the uh, the March and June one will be offered to go as well. So don't worry about that. If you live too far, or can't get away from your you know pets, children, whatever it is, or just don't want to, you can take it to go. Um. Okay, and then last but not least, the cruise. So. As I last checked, we still do have three spots available for our January 28th, 2024 Harmony of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas cruise. Here's some pictures from last year. We had an amazing time on Allure of the Seas last year. Harmony, April and I were looking. It looks like their conference room is even a little fancier than this one. Um, there's where everybody got their own half a table for cropping and then the class area. I think, yeah, that was my last picture. And then just, um, that was our group, the women anyway. Um, everybody had friends, spouses, whatever with them mostly. And then here's a few of us out exploring the port. So you definitely want to join that. Only three spots available for crafters. Don't worry if you it's you and your kids and your spouse and your friend and this person who are not crafting, they can all come just in the crafting room. We only have three spots left. All right. Links in the one o'clock email today. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff. Um, let's get into specials. Basically, what's going on right now is bonus days. Your coupons for, that you earned last month are ending August 31st. You only have how many? I can't count. Um, well, two weeks. You have exactly two weeks from today to use your coupons. They will expire September 1st. It will be too bad, so sad. So don't forget to spend your coupons. Um, and if you did not know, because someone asked me this, like she joined my team after or since she earned coupons, you can spend them with yourself or any demonstrator. You're not restricted to where you earned them. So she earned her coupons with me. And now she's going to spend them with herself, which is the smart way to do it. The code works with any Stampin' Up! order you place, no matter if it's with yourself, me, or another demo. Not that I want you to go to another demo, but you can. Um, just make sure you spend them. Don't lose them. I would hate to hear about that. Um, the, we have our kit sale, our um, awesome kits that come in a box. They make great. You need to start thinking about stocking up for your holiday gifts holiday activities, um, have some on hand for, oh, I forgot uh, to give a gift for cousin Susie. Let me give her a crafting kit. They're all inclusive. Everything they need is in the box to complete the projects, including instructions, you know, all that. I believe they have even a ruler on the instructions. Do they have that on these? Oh, maybe not. Okay, I lied on that. Oh, no, they do. There's the ruler right there at the bottom. Yep. Instructions, ruler, all they need to add really normally is scissors, just some scissors. So great gifts, but of course, great for us as well. This is that um, tags kit that I showed y'all last week. Super cute. Um, anyway, up to 30% off. All the kits are on sale up to 30% off. That ends August 31st as well. Um, and then, of course, the biggest special, which is not an official special, is if you want anything from this holiday catalog and you're not a demonstrator, you can get it right now by purchasing the starter kit. And you can add anything from this book to the starter kit promotion. And um, I mean, to this, it's not a promotion. It's not, it's always a promotion. It's $99 plus tax, free shipping. And you choose 125 of anything you want, which can currently include holiday catalog merchandise. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, any questions on that? Just let me know. Like if you're like, but what, a, what do I have to sell? Technically nothing, but I'll answer your questions. I'll give you more details. Um, okay, so there we go. Um, I'm going to point the camera down. I have some stuff here. As usual, it's messy. I accidentally pointed it down already and showed you the mess. Um, but it's some just some random stuff, and then we'll get started stamping. I'm checking my notes to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so 
Uh, first, let me start with this. These are just two products that I got in since I did my video last week from the holiday catalog. They came in on different orders because I, well, I missed this designer paper and I had more money to spend on a, a, an event. By the way, I'm using the same camera I used last week. So far, it is not blurry when I bring stuff up, which is annoying me so much that it was blurry last week, but we're going to move on. Um, so if it gets blurry, I'll switch cameras again. But anyway, this is the Light the Sky bundle from the holiday catalog. Fireworks. Check out these firework dies. They're going to be really fun to play with. Um, and then this photopolymer fireworks stamp set. So we have wishing you a happy new year. Congratulations on your big day. Let's celebrate and yay. And then a bunch of different fireworks images that can be um, interpreted as other things as well. Flowers, like they have this long thing here, which I'm sure is maybe supposed to be the where the fireworks shoot up in the air, that string or line thing. But I bet y'all are going to make flowers out of this. I know it. And just backgrounds, etc. cetera. Um, so I just love this because, yeah, I here in the U.S., I want to use it for July 4th. I hope it carries over, but probably won't. We'll see. Um, and then this designer paper, I was telling you guys about it. It's called A Walk in the Forest. It's in the beginning of the holiday catalog, and it is a fundraiser designer paper. So let me open my book so I can read. If I could show you the inside of the book, I would, but I'm not allowed to right now. Um, it is on page four and five, and it says... Um, we'll donate $3 to support organizations dedicated to spreading cheer and providing support to those in need for every pack that's sold. $3. And it's only $12.50. So that's a great way to be charitable and get your crafting fix on. Um, these are the trees that match the dyes I showed you last week, the Christmas trees. Um, and by the way, I saw, I don't remember if I saw this on someone's sample, like on our demonstrator Facebook group or in the catalog. I do not remember. But on that stamp set, let me see if I can pull it real quick. I saw that some people, again, I don't remember where, they were stamping this tree multiple times and then die cutting out the different sizes of dies that I showed you last week and layering them on top of each other. So I was saying you could make a little tree, a medium tree, large, extra large. But you can also stamp it multiple times, die cut out each size, and layer them on top of each other to get more depth. So that's just another way to use it. And I suppose you could do that with a designer paper too, but you need lots of sheets. So FYI, something I didn't pre, um, pay attention to. And then the bear will fit the bear punch. Um, which, so the bear that's facing to the right, I mean to the left, fits this bear punch. This paper is separate from those two sweets. Oh my gosh, Kat. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show this paper since this is not the um, video for that. We've got pine cones. We've got pine need like little sprigs with needles on it. Uh, blue with white dots for snow. More bears. Here's another bear that'll fit the punch. But then there's other bears on this sheet. They're brown. That are doing in different positions and shapes. Now, technically, you can punch out these reverse bears, but you got to get real tricky with lights and stuff. I get the whole thing. Um, anyway, this one also has trees in blue, like misty and garden green, and then like snow in the background. Back of that is just a nice Christmas um, red and green, thick and thin stripes, red, green, and white, I should say. Um, gorgeous sheet there with, with um, white trees. On a blue background with some, I think those are like a misty moonlight tree in the background, but they could be interpreted as green as well. Um, blue with white snowflakes all over, a white sheet with small Christmas trees all over in greens, and it might be peacock as well. Balmy blue, cherry cobbler, garden green, old olive, pecan pie, and pretty peacock. And then the back of that one is more stripes with peacock, green, green, 
very light blue. Okay, so this paper is going to be awesome. I hope we sell it out a walk in the forest um, because it's a fundraiser, but it's probably Stampin' Up's least expensive fundraiser item they've ever had in the catalog, um, which I think is great. And it matches those other items as well. Okay, so to, oh, one, no, nope. I forgot what I'm doing. This is my iPad cord over here. Um, okay, these are swaps from our retreat we just had. So thanks to everyone who came in person and or attended it to go, which uh, went out in the mail yesterday. And I emailed you your PDF tutorials yesterday. Um, but the card swap in person is optional and not everyone participates. These are the swaps we got back. This first one here is my swap. It is from the holiday catalog. Again, this might be, end up being one of our projects for if holiday extravaganza. I don't know yet. But that was my swap. This was, um, I don't know that all the names are on here, but I do remember this was Robin's swap. I love this card. It's so pretty. Love the colors. Love the, like, it's just cool. Obviously, it's a big square. Uh, yes, I don't have a name on this one, but gorgeous, gorgeous. See those comments. Going to make some cone wreaths with this paper. Ooh, Zanna, you have to share your pictures. Um, Halloween, super cute Halloween card. I think Ida Beth made this one. And I remember Kelly made this one. This is with new product, the Modern Garden Bundle and Sweet. Super, just so pretty. Simple but gorgeous. I think this was Melanie's. The reason I remember some and don't is it basically if they told me and then I remembered or they put their name on the back. So Melanie's card is super fancy, y'all. It's like, first you take this off. That's a wow. Then you open it. Then you prop it up. So anyway, gorgeous with the inked and tiled stuff. And then uh, this one. I don't remember. Now I'm going to be really put on the spot. This was our winning card. Everybody there got to vote. I'm trying to remember who won. Was it? Oh my gosh. Who was there? Who remembers? My next order is larger than the first one. <laughs> Cheryl, I love that. I'm trying to remember who won, y'all. I'm blank. Yeah, I'm blanking. Nina, I think it was Nina Hunter. I think Nina won. Great, this was Melissa's card. I mean, talk about some detail there. And last but not least, this was April's, my retreat partner, April McCrite's card. She got some Wink Stella on there. Really pretty. Okay, so that was our swap. Um, great ideas, of course. Now I get to just lay them and copy them and all that. Okay, now we're on last but not least. This is my online ordering special for this month of August 2023. When you place an online order with me of $25 or more, super cheap, $25 or more, you're going to uh, receive in September a class packet mailed to you to make these four cards with the Crafting With You bundle. Um, we will cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything possible. You will stamp and assemble at home. By the way, I added a ribbon to this card after the video last week, after I got um, this twine back from Landa. Uh, okay, so you'll, we'll cut, die cut, punch, emboss. We won't die cut for you like these um, paintbrushes and this easel, for example, these flowers, because you have to stamp first, then die cut. But we'll die cut your, all this stuff like the paper cutter, the blades, like all this. So um, that's 25 or more. I mean, can you find a better deal? I don't know. I don't know. Then at 50 or more, we're also going to give you a full roll of this Knight of Navy bordered ribbon, which we used on this one card here. Um, a full roll of that at 50 or more. So let me just show you. Oops. Uh, in words, in written words, you have to use the host code unless your order is over 150. And then I'll still give you the stuff. You have to use the host code. Um, <laughs> uh, 25 or more is the class packet, 50 or more is also the ribbon. And you 
uh, at 150 or more, you'll get all this stuff from me, but don't use the host code in the code the in that one case because then you will also get at least $15 in stampin rewards from stampin up plus my gifts. I don't want you to miss out on that. Otherwise you need to use the host code. So let me put that on the screen so you will remember it'll be in my email at one o'clock. It's on my blog right now. It is everywhere <laughs> this host code. Um and I also even have a video showing you how and where to enter the host code. So any questions on that, let me know. I mean, the, I mail it for free. There's no shipping charge. I don't know if you can get a better deal. I don't know. Only $25. All right. So we're going to make cards today with the stuff away because I dropped some stuff with the these two bun, uh, stamp sets. So this is, these are going to be back to school themed cards. We're using bird's eye view and everyday thanks. So everyday thanks is red rubber. This is a, a, an awesome stamp set that came out in the new book. I'm sure Alejandra and I showed it when we did our annual catalog tour a long time ago. Uh, again, red rubber. But it's for the kind of service people in your lives. So there is a band-aid with a heart in the center. A, a pencil, a whistle with like, it forms a heart in the little string of the whistle, a light, like for an ambulance, police car, any kind of vehicles like that, that have the flashing light on top. And then a stethoscope, again, that the little string that they, that attaches it to the part that they put on your chest has a heart in it. Um, all of these images are real thick drawings but of outline images so you can color them in it's just a thick outline sort of cartoonish cute but not too silly and then there's two greetings thank you for everything you do and thanks so that's a great one then we have bird's eye view which is probably the most adorable set in the annual catalog <laughs> it's photopolymer it is, there are five different birds, um, which I stupidly didn't realize until I was <laughs> um, uh, working with this to make my scrapbook pages. That was my first thing I made with them. I was like, oh, these are all different birds, right? It's not like one, like a, I mean, this is a dumb one to say, but like an eagle in different positions. I think each bird is a different type of bird, but they are drawn cartoonish and not the, it, not exactly super realistic. Uh, so that's open to interpretation, I'm sure. But they're not all just like one, like a J or whatever the heck kind of birds there are. Anyway, so I, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Um, and then, so there's the birds. Um, all of them are kind of on the same scale, whether they're standing like facing forward, facing to the side, full body side, half body side, whatever. They're around one and a half to one and three fourths inches tall. This one little guy that, I don't know what kind of bird that is, but to me, that's like a little kid one. He's one and a half tall. And then there's a really small one inch one. Okay, then there's two different kinds of glasses for them to wear, round style and more I don't know, I guess a classic where the top is straight and then the half moon style. You can put those on any of them or any other stamps you have. And then a monocle with one like this handle coming out of it. There is a stack of three books. There is a, a branch and there's an image with three leaves. These are all outlined that you can color in. Okay, so there we go. Um, do we have a paper share? Um, do I have a paper share? Let me go back to this thing. Let me scroll here. Sorry. Um, why? Yes, I do, Cheryl. <laughs> why? Yes, I do. Um, it is being released today at 4 p.m. Central. So Cheryl, make sure you sign up for my email newsletter if you're not on that already, or you can message me like if you don't want to be on the email and I will send you that link individually after four o'clock today when we release it. 
Um, and if you're interested, you can go back and watch the beginning of the video later where I give more details about what's in the paper share and how we're doing it. However, once you get the link, when you click the link, if this is for everybody, you're not registered for anything. You click the link and usually there's more info about the event, details, what's included, blah, blah, blah. Then you click register now and you actually sign up. Like it's, don't worry anybody. If you click any of my links, you're not automatically registered for anything until you actually click register now and you get a confirmation email, then you're registered. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Hey, Janet. Hey, Carol. Thanks for sharing, Carol. GN, good morning to you. Um, thanks for sharing. Cheryl. Oh, yeah, we read that about your next order. <laughs> Larger than the first. Yay. Um, and I was going to look, sorry, real quick. Uh, Dorothy, good morning to you. Okay, the name I missed. Okay, so let's make card number one, card one. I have some white scrap here, although I don't need it for card number one, so let me remove that. <laughs> Never mind. Card number one actually has zero stamping. Get my papers. Zero stamping on card one. And just a reminder, um, if you did not hear me say this earlier, these cards were all, I made my back to school scrapbook pages, and then I took those, um, to 12 by 12 pages and looked at what I had done on them and made these cards from that. So they're kind of like copied from the scrapbook pages. Yeah. And I'm having to hold the cat up here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So card number one, um, we have a five and a half by eight and a half piece of crushed curry cardstock. That's our card base. So you take your eight and a half by 11 cardstock and cut it in half. You get two cards out of one piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half with my bone folder. So easy measurement, cut it in half, either direction. When you fold it, either way, it will fit into an invitation size envelope, which is this clear size here. You can also use a, um, uh, the white, <laughs> duh, a white or vanilla envelope, which of course Stampin' Up! carries. We have very high quality, nice envelopes. Um, but so measuring is easy. Cut it in half, fold it in half. It's four and a fourth by five and a half. That's your front to work with. You're done. Okay, Kat. There she is. Say hi. Hello, everybody. I'm being bad today. Okay. <laughs> um, inside this packet, I'm going to hold her for a minute to maybe satisfy her need of attention. Um, we have, ooh, I hope I pulled everything I need for this video because I made these cards on retreat. So normally when I make these cards, I'm just piling stuff on this table, but I made them at retreat, which means everything got put away and I had to pull it back out. So I just realized I didn't pull this designer paper. Anyway, crushed curry card base. My next layer is designer paper. It is the delightfully eclectic designer paper, which is that pack. I use it all the time. I'm going to step away from the mic for a second. See if the cat will settle on her chair. Um, okay, so it is this huge 48 sheets of 12 by 12 designer paper. And of course, the name says it all eclectic. So there's so many different types of patterns and designs in it, including two, I think, prints of like uh, grid paper or graph. I forgot what that's called. Kind of like graphing paper, graph paper or notebook paper, whatever you want to call it. So the one I used on this card is this one that has a yellow tint on the background. This one. There's also one that has a pink tint, and I'm going to use that on a different card. I think there's just those two. So this paper is great for many, many, many different styles and types of cards, including back to school. And then these two strips here that are um, crushed curry, there's a white one with crushed curry dots and a crushed curry one with really large white dots. They are from this packet as well. 
think this is the only card I'm using this paper on today, but I did use it on the scrapbook pages, which again are with Chris, or I would show them to you because there's I think they're super cute, but we that's <laughs> only my opinion. Okay, so we have that designer paper. I'll have all these measurements on stamptherapist.com at 11 a.m. Central today. If my fingernails look dirty, I'm just going to point it out because they do look dirty. It's um, a fake tanner that got, that I put on my face. It's like it drops and it's all in my fingernails. They look dirty. They're not, it's not dirt. They've been washed and scrubbed so many times to try to get that off. Let's just address it. Okay, designer paper strips. I have two five and one fourth inch long strips here, but I'll have the exact measurements for you on the blog. I'll use this finger, 11 a.m. Central, stamptherapist.com. Um, that'll go across the card here. It's going to be landscape. And then I have all these little pieces here. Oh, by the way, this card and on my page, this was inspired by a, by a card. Uh, Pat, Pat Coates made on my team page. Okay, so we have a piece of crushed curry, bubble bath, and a half inch strip here of smoky slate. I have a square of crumb cake and a tiny square of basic black. And then I've also pre die cut ABC in basic black cardstock with my, I think I pulled those now, my, well, I'm just going to pull this one out. These dies here, um, alphabet a la mode dies. Okay, so those are all the pieces except for a piece of ribbon I need, which, yes, I forgot to pull that out as well. <laughs> Grab my ribbon container. Okay, it's the black and white gingham. I wrote down yesterday to pull all the stuff and then I didn't pull all the stuff. Okay. So what we're going to do is make a pencil out of these pieces, like a punch art ledger paper. Thank you, Zanna. Um, uh, we're going to make a pencil. So I'm going to start with this crushed curry rectangle. This one is shorter than the one on the scrapbook page because the scrapbook page is 12 by 12. So it can be a little longer. And so this is going to be a cute little short fat pencil. So what I'm going to do first is take my uh, scalloped contours dies, and there is a scallop, a large scalloped border, and I'm going to cut off one end. This is exactly how I'm going to lay it on the die cut machine. It just worked out that if you cut this paper three inches wide, Basically, you have a scallop ending at both sides, and it's so it puts three scallops on the end of the pencil. Uh, by the way, scallop contours dies I'm using on, I think, my third card today, this largest border here. So I'll just show that now so you can save a minute later. Okay, so let me grab my machine. I could have... I pre-did a lot of stuff for this video, but I could have pre-done this, but I did, did not want to. I wanted you to just get the visual. Um, there's how I am aligning it. I'm just going to sticky note it down. Sticky notes are, I mean, there's many things you can use, including washi tape or post-it note tape, but sticky notes are amazing for this kind of stuff. Um, and then die cut that out. So I'm putting it as close to the end as I can just to be not wasteful of paper. Like when I cut off a big chunk that I'm just going to throw away. There's that. That's the piece that's trash. I do think it would be cute if the little dots could be on our pencil, but they're not. It's just like this. That's fine though. Is that blurry now? I think it's blurry. Okay. Um, there's that. And I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. You could also use your, what is that thing called? Simply scored tool. You could use that. I'm going to use my paper trimmer. And by the way, if you're taking scrapbook class in person, 
or to go, whatever. You're going to do this step yourself. So take note. Um, I'm just going to place this with the front facing up and the front is like, you can see little cute embossed lines. It's going to look more textured on the back from running through the die cut machine. Um, and just align the point of the first scallop with the cut groove here. And then do not use the cutting blade. Get that out of your way and just score it a few times. If you're using our current paper trimmer, it's the best scoring blade ever. And you can pretty much press as hard as you want on cardstock and it will not cut it. Old, older cutting blade, uh, scoring blades from other trimmers, not the same. They are not as forgiving. This one's actually a, so now we have our little lines in our pencil. This one's actually rounded and the other ones are pointed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's rounded versus pointed like the trimmer part. The old scoring blades are pointed as well. So of course, you get the new trimmer, it's the best one. Um, okay, next up, where is it? So I'll put this together on the card, but the pink, the bubble bath will be the eraser. The smoky slate will be the metal part below the eraser. That's pretty easy. Then we have this square. So this is a three by three. I mean, not three by three. This is a three inch wide pencil. My crumb cake is three by three also, but we are going to have to trim some of it off. Um, actually, you can cut that in half. We're going to cut it in half diagonally, this square. You can cut it with a paper trimmer or scissors. It does not matter. Whatever you prefer. I'm going to use my trimmer because I, I'm pretty terrible at cutting stuff in half with my, by hand. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it's fine. So cut that in half. You just need one of these triangles for your card. I mean, for your pencil. And then what we'll do is add adhesive on the back of the pencil down here by the scallops. I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. How's everybody doing? Hey, Christine, thank you for sharing. Okay, I'm just going to add a strip across. Hey, Tommy, good morning. Watching in the doctor's office. Okay, so I'm just going to place this so that the two points on the left and right align uh, with the edges of the triangle, and I'm going to cut off the excess. So you can try to be perfect, like it doesn't really matter, but something's kind of off about mine. I think it's in how I die cut it, so don't worry, it's fine. Nobody will ever pay that close attention. Now I'm just going to cut off this excess on the left and right, and that's how I made this pencil. I don't know if there's a better way. This is how I did it. And it's super cute. That's crumb cake. And then this black, we're just going to take this rectangle. I think it's five eighths of an inch. Five eighths, make a triangle. I will just cut this by hand because it's so tiny. And again, you only need one. So now I basically can make a whole second pencil with those two pieces. Adhesive on the back. Use my silicone sheet so I don't get adhesive or on my adhesive on my scratch paper or table and then attach that down there for the pencil lid. And that's how you make a pencil. Super easy. Okay, it's a little like crooked, but let's don't look at that. Let's just pretend it's perfect. Okay, so there we go. That is that part. Next, this card is very simple actually. Going to attach this large designer paper to the card base. And 
And the way this paper is, what do we call it, ledger paper, um, you get different sections of the grids. So don't worry about it. Like each card can be different. It's fine. I'm just going to place that wider strip of designer paper across toward the bottom, maybe a half inch to five eighths of an inch from the bottom. And then the second strip with the white dots on it, um, overlapping that designer paper a little so there's no transition issue and just up above it, but overlapping it a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my pencil together. So I added adhesive to the bottom one side of the bubble bath rectangle. And I'm just going to measure here. Oh, did I put it all the way? Oh, never mind. I don't need to measure. I forgot what I did. I'm just going to cover this whole end of the pencil. But you could put it further out to make a bigger pencil. Or you could cut your yellow, your crush curry bigger. I'm just going to match it with the curry cardstock. Like, just cover it up to be able to fit on this card. I think I did that on purpose so I wouldn't make it too long or too short. It's just perfect. Then I will attach my crush, my smoky slate on half inch strip right between the eraser and the pencil. And then I'm just going to add ABC to that. I'm going to grab the silicone sheet again. I could have used adhesive sheets on the back of ABC, but I didn't because sometimes you're lazy. I'm just adding little bitty pieces of this, uh, my stamp and seal to the letters. And uh, that's all you need. You don't like. Really, why does it need to be fully covered like it doesn't? Um, I will just very lightly place it on here so I can move it around if I want. Of course, if you're more comfortable with liquid glue or whatever your deal is, feel free to do that. I'm definitely not more comfortable with liquid glue. Way, way less comfortable. <laughs> and I make a mess with it. See how I can still move this around because I haven't like pressed super hard. Okay, ABC. Boom. Now, the only thing I'm going to change from my original is, I don't know why, but I just glued everything flat on the card I made. So I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals, this pencil. I'm using my mini Stampin' Dimensionals, of course, because that's my favorite ones. I just put a probably way less than any of you guys would put on here. I'm like, what time is it? Why am I always so hungry on video days? And then I'm just putting this pencil on here at an angle, down to the left, up to the right. Yeah, it does look better raised up. Simple. And then we'll add a bow with our black and white gingham ribbon. And that is it for this card. Like, for real, that's like it. I didn't actually use the stamps, by the way. But they're getting used on the other two cards for sure. Okay, so I'm going to make a bunny ears bow with my black and white gingham. I have, uh, I've left it attached to the roll so that I have no waste on one side. I have two bunny ears, lots of space between the two, and one is in each hand. So one in my left, one in my right, between finger and thumb, uh, tail on one side, attached to the roll on the other, and the most important is that the ribbon is flat, flat, flat. It's never turned or twisted once in this process. And I take the right loop and go over the left. It makes like a this little thing. Then that right loop gets pushed down into the rabbit hole. This right bunny ear gets pushed down into the rabbit hole. And then just pull and fix. That's how you do a bunny ears bow. Yes, Jackie. Ooh, yes. You could give this to your, actually, the kids on the first day of school, which, by the way, um, here in Texas, I think that's passed for everybody. But, hey, you can give it on the first week, first weekend, second week. I don't think they're going to get upset if you're late on it. 
I mean, if you give them something later, right? Kids like to get little notes and stuff anytime. And same for teachers. Like, I think it, anytime. If someone, when someone gives me a card for being a demonstrator, like, there does not have to be an occasion. It is always exciting. I'm just going to put this little bow right there at the bottom of the C. And that's it. ABC. Oh, I didn't find my phone earlier <laughs> to take it out of this room. I'm going to run it out real quick. Because uh, I knew it was going to ring because I couldn't find it. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um, I was like, of course, if you can't find it, it's going to ring today. Okay, so there's card one. Card one. Back to school, teachers, children, um, bus driver, like whoever. I think for all ages would think it's cute, too. It's my daughter's 22 and just graduated from college. She still thinks this card was cute. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. Thanks, Jackie. By the way, Jackie was the one who said great for first day of school. And uh, let me see who said really cute. Shirley, thank you. Awesome. So there's card one. If you would like a chance to win these cards that I'm making today, please uh, just make a comment on the video, YouTube, or this is the one for the prize. Uh, with the dimensionals, YouTube, or what's the other thing called? Facebook, on recording or live right now. It, either one doesn't matter. Um, okay, here is the next, uh, the pieces for card number two. Card number two. Hey, Terry, thank, uh, happy Thursdays to you. <laughs> Zana says, me, me, me. Um, okay, so yeah, we're going to do card number two now. Um, for this one, we are using both stamp sets, Bird's Eye View and Everyday Thanks, the pencil from Everyday Thanks, and this, oh, I can't see which bird I use, where is it? This little bird with the round glasses. Okay, so, I'm good. my card base is Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to fold that in half with the bone folder. That prevents um, that prevents so many wrinkles on the inside of your card than versus doing it with your finger. Okay, this will be Misty Moonlight Base. It's portrait design, shape, whatever. Then the next layer is the grid journal what do we call it this designer paper that's like um graph paper or notebook paper that has the pink tint to the background pink tint then the next layer is basic white and then it has been embossed with or dye it's really called die cut because this is a die but it doesn't actually cut it out it just cuts these stitched lines in a rectangle shape um, that are whimsical two stitch lines going around the border um, so this is the stitch with whimsy dies and you get six different dies there's a really large rectangle that is basically the size of the full front of your card that's the one i actually used on the scrapbook page this is the next one down for this piece again measurements on the blog 11 a.m central right there at stamptherapist.com and um and then it goes well there's actually three that are squares and another smaller rectangle so stitch with whimsy does they do not die cut out they only make these stitch marks to frame your images okay so we have that and then i have a second one the exact same size same die to go on the inside since this is a dark colored card and then you have a cute way to write your note on the inside Okay, then I have pre-colored and hand cut out my images, but I'll show those in a second. Not a second, but in a, some amount of time. Um, then I have pre-die cut 
a heart from Bubble Bath Cardstock from, I'm trying to put these letters right, but whatever, from uh, Radiating Stitches Dies. So you have the heart, two circles, and uh, yeah, two solid circles, and then the three frame images. I love Radiating Stitches Dies. They are technically online only, which means they are technically while supplies last. So please, if you love these dies, get them before all of a sudden they're gone and we're like, oh, I forgot to get those. Please. Okay, and then one, two, three from the uh, dies I showed on the first card, the, um, what are they called? <laughs> Alphabet a la mode dies. So we have A, B, C, one, two, three, right? Okay. I'm going to use Memento Black ink to stamp my images. And this ink is water based, which means it will work great with our alcohol based Stampin' Blend markers. You need opposite inks to stamp in versus coloring in. So if you're going to watercolor, you want to stamp in. Uh, stays on, which is not water based, it, it's solvent. I'm over here searching for which bird I used. Solvent ink, uh, basically, it's waterproof, and then you color with water based paint or ink pads in our case. Hopefully, that makes sense. Long story short, use memento black. I'm going to add these glasses to this little bird. Use Memento Black with your Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based markers. Memento Black. Okay, and then here are the blends I'm going to use. These are the same ones we're using. And by the way, you're going to be doing this coloring and hand cutting out in scrapbook class as well, so be prepared. Um, anyway, here's the colors. Daffodil Delight, Smoky Slate, Bubble Bath. Misty Moonlight, and I used ivory for the pencil, the lead, I mean the wood part, um, but we have lots of neutral blends you could use or crumb cake, whatever you want. Let me grab my readers. By the way, the pencil was the red rubber stamp, the other was photopolymer, but Stampin' Up! stamps are amazing quality no matter. Um, if you're having trouble with your photopolymer, make sure you use, it could be your table underneath. So if that's the case, put, for example, our foam stamp and pierce mat under the paper to get a good image. Um, my table is really hard and firm, so it works well. But if your table is flexible, plastic, bumpy, soft, etc., these stamps probably won't stamp as good. The photopolymer. Okay. Um, I'm going to color these in real quick, and I will not be, please knock on wood that I didn't mess up, I will not be coloring for the next card because I redid it all. Um, so I'm just using the fine point end of my crumb cake, I mean, sorry, ivory blend to color that pencil wood part. Then dark smoky slate, fine point for my pencil lid. Then, yeah, just, I'm going to do light bubble bath for my eraser. You can use the brush tip ends. I have them marked off. That was for a class where they were not allowed to use the brush tip end, <laughs> but they work fine. Like, Feel like I need to prove it. Um, the X does not mean it's bad. It means I don't want it to get messed up, um, which is just from use, like uh, not improper use. Um, if you color on the, with the, not like this, pressing down, which flares out your brush, just do it on the side. These brushes will last. I mean, I've never had one of my personal ones get messed up at all. Just wanted to show you that. Okay. 
Um, light smoky slate for the metal part of the pencil where the above the eraser, above and below, whatever it's called. And then I did do some blending. So this is why they're called blends. You can take your light and dark together. You can also do this with different non-matching colors. They won't even get messed up. Um, but I'm just going to do dark daffodil delight, which is my yellow version here, um, along the lines of that pencil. And then I'll use light daffodil delight all over. Um, you can 100% do this uh, with the, only the brush, the bullet point, and still do your blending. You just, I just do little circles over. Um, because anytime you're doing blending in general, you want to go over the dark and mix the two together. It sort of transitions them out so that it's not just a harsh line, but more of a smooth transition from light to dark. Um, I don't think I need to say anything else about blends. They can dry out, so put the lid on the moment you're done. You can go back over them as many times as you want. So I can go back and add more light, add more dark, blah, 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 keep blending. Again, you can mix any colors together. It's not going to hurt one marker or the other, and they do bleed through to the other side. So just know that. For the bird, I made, I'm going to use dark bubble bath on the little details on the wing and then light bubble bath on the whole wing including going over the dark part but what i was going to say is i made him have a pink wing him or her and a yellow body and then i'm just going to put this back real quick i don't have to mess with that later uh and then same with daffodil here dark there's just some little sort of detail lines stamping up just drew on the tail and the side of this bird and then do the whole body including that dark part with light daffodil i didn't color the beaks but you can but i didn't <laughs> but you can <laughs> they are like open like it's a little triangle so you could color it with yellow or i mean uh, orange or whatever color you think the beak should be Either way, these birds are super cute, and this pencil is adorable. And then you're going to hand cut these out. I will hand cut out one just to give tips on hand cutting, but I have pre-done that. And if you're seeing little streaks, keep going over it. It blends out. A lot of people are like, oh, you can't use the brush to pen. It's streaky. It's not. I mean, the fine point. Sorry, I'm using the wrong words. Um, it's not. Just keep blending. It's not streaky. It's not. It's so beautiful. I love it. Because I'm not artistic nor a good colorer at all. I guess I used Misty on the other card, the third one. So you'll see that there. Okay, so there we go. Um, <laughs> thanks, Linda. Hello in Idaho. Oh, actually, I'll keep these glasses on for a minute. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to cut the bird out for y'all just so you know, in case anyone needs tips on hand cutting, but I pre-cut these out. And for the next card. So I leave a white border. I open the scissors up really wide and cut for as long of a time as I can before I have to reopen the scissors up and cut again. Uh, turn the paper with the opposite hand then you're holding the scissors versus turning the scissors that just gives you those nice rounded corners. Um, if you want to cut, like if I wanted to cut this off now, I would not go straight down because then I have a ugly angle I have to fix. So I would do it like rounded to cut it off. Then I can keep going rounded here, but see how open my scissors are. And then, so also I'm not cutting like this. That can give you choppy lines. It's like open it really big, cut as long as you can, open it up really big, cut as long as you can. Oh my gosh, am I in the screen or not? <sighs> I 
I have the camera super close to my hand, so it's messing me up. La la la. Okay, that's it. That's how you hand cut stuff out. There's the two I previously hand cut out. And in preparation for this video. And I think we're ready to put it together. I do have ribbon for this part. I'm going to have to grab it over here in a second. Um, it's a different ribbon. Um, okay, so I'm going to attach the designer paper. Measurements, blog, stamptherapist.com, 11 a.m. Central, along with recipe cards, individual single photos of the projects, and... Supply lists, like all kinds of info over there on the blog at 11. The ordering special info is there as well. Okay, I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals on my bird and pencil and the heart. I'm using my mini Stampin' Dimensionals, and you can see I don't use very many of the mini <laughs> Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, I cracked myself up on that. Let me add adhesive to one, two, three with my silicone craft sheet. And then I'll have all the pieces so I can kind of check placement as I put these down. Chippeel's comments better late than never. Yes, Robin. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to put one, two, three down here in the corner, kind of messy, not so aligned like it was in the first card. And I, and I still haven't pressed hard, so I can adjust those in a minute. Let me get this bow I want. So everything's kind of just, I don't know willy nilly on this card. This is the sheer ribbon combo pack. I love it so much. I'm using the bubble bath sheer ribbon, which they all have a silver edge and they're kind of shiny and they are sheer. They're gorgeous. They're thin. They're easy to work with. I'm going to do another bunny ear bow. So I've already shown you how to do that on the first card. This ribbon so nice. And then, now, I'm just going to kind of lay these pieces out. So, bow is bottom left. I'm just, put, I put one, two, three on the white part that has the whimsy thing on it. Um, I'm pretty much putting this bird top right corner. And then it's just like, where am I going to put the pencil and the heart? The pencil is going to be kind of pointing to the one, two, three, almost like I just wrote it with that pencil. So, yeah, that's a pretty good layout. Just look for like white space or whatever. Oh my gosh. I just <laughs> threw those dimensional backs on the floor like I wasn't even thinking. Like as if that's what I always do with them, which is not Not my usual. Okay. Um, mini glue dot for the bow. By the way, fold this protective coating back until you, it, after you see one dot, fold it back, press. Now it's completely flat against this roll and I can push as hard as I want and um, stick the bow to the dot and pull it, the whole thing off of there. Super cute. Now dimensionals on this piece, on the white rectangle. And I have the measurements on the blog. They're also same exact measurements on the recipe card. If y'all ever see errors on that stuff, let me know and I'll correct it, by the way. 
and I'm going to place this white piece on the card at an angle, higher on the right, lower on the left. Oh, I need to glue this down to the middle. I showed you this piece at the beginning to go on the inside. And that is the finished card. So, teachers, kids, you're, basically it's great for students or teachers. <laughs> um, either one. Or bus drivers or basically anyone who's involved in school. You know, there's many, many employees that have to do with school. Um, there you go. Hey, belly chick. Thanks, Zana. Would also look cute with Al sitting in the pencil. Yes, definitely. They hover, hoover up. I love this ribbon. Yes, used all the bubble bath already. Exactly. Corinna, thank you. Yes, Marsha. No dies for either of these stamp sets I'm showing today. Um, by the way, if y'all want to win these cards, make sure you comment on the video, even if you're watching replay. Okay, last but not least, card number three for today. I actually think card number two was my favorite, but you see what you think. I like this card, it's just saying. I'm just saying, favorite. This card should go pretty fast because I pretty colored and stamped and cut. Um, so let me show you first. The card base is crushed curry. I'm gonna fold that in half, five and a half by eight and a half, fold it in half with the bone folder. This will be portrait again. Then I have a piece of basic white to go in front of that, but it's cut so that there'll be a nice skinny border of crushed curry. Again, measurements on the blog today. Then this is the die I told you about on card number one from the scalloped contours dies. It's crushed curry is the paper. And this is the largest die in that scalloped contours. And then my next layer is a basic white that's been embossed with the exposed brick embossing folder in the annual catalog it's a six by six thick 3d folder i love it and uh, that's been cut down to fit inside the frame again measurements on the blog and embossed with the bricks and then on that scrap of white i stamped these images and colored them in. So I have four birds and two sets of books. The birds, uh, are there, I don't even remember how many are in the set. Let me look. Okay, there's five in the set. I did not use the smallest bird. I didn't use the smallest bird on anything, not even the scrapbook pages, FYI. I stamped him and cut him out for something. I was going to put him on the pencil card and I didn't like it, did not like how it looked at all. So, but these are the four larger birds that are kind of equal size sort of to each other. Um, so they are colored in with those colors from before, Bubble Bath, Misty Moonlight, and Daffodil Delight. So there's that, just like I colored them before, just like I hand cut out. And then the books, just to keep it simple for me, I colored them both, both sets of three books in the exact same way. And I did not get creative. So they are colored in with uh, one book is Bubble Bath, one is Daffodil Delight, and one is Misty Moonlight. And that gets repeated on the next set of books. And that is, um, or how I use the dark was where they drew like little borders. I don't know what the right word for that is, but on the spine, there's little details. So I colored those dark. Everything else is light. Bring these up close so you can see how they're colored. Okay, so on the scrapbook page, this is spread out a little more, this, this section of the scrapbook page. And I had to keep it a little tighter on this card. So let me glue down these base pieces and then we'll put it together. So basic white. I don't want to finish a little early today because I have to type four sets of tutorials <laughs> and finish with my 
like scheduling my email for the paper share. Don't forget to sign up for paper share today, 4, 4 p.m. And that email goes out. Um, okay, so flat, everything's flat there. And then the books are going to get stacked. So I'm going to add some adhesive to the bottom of one set of books. They stack super easy. Let's put the blue, well, in my case, the blue one right on top of the pink one. Boom, you have a stack of books. You could do as many stacks as you want. Um, to stamp them this way, one on top of the other, you would need to do some masking or it would look weird. But anyway, um, okay, so I have the, the bird, this is Jennifer's in my brain, the bird that I put the glasses that are more classic, straight on top, half moon on bottom, this is my teacher. She's going to be at the top standing on these books, and I'm going to put the books flat. And then on these other three birds, there's one facing right, one facing left, and one looking straight forward. And, and on the little guy facing straight forward, I put the round glasses on him. So these three birds are going to be at the bottom listening to the teacher. I'm laying this out so I can see where to put these books. The bird is standing on top of this pink book, the teacher. See, so yeah, I'm going to put the books right about, oops, whoops, uh, there. Then we'll just put dimensionals on, actually, I lied, this shortest cute little bird is going to go at the bottom right in the center flat and then these other three birds will have dimensionals. I'll probably do probably do three per bird. Do that, do that little triangle thing. And then there's one question I have for y'all on this card, and that is bow or not. So I'll show you my card with the bow. And I literally could not decide if it looked better with a bow or not because it was kind of, and there's not a bow on my scrapbook page. I was kind of like, does it need it or not? So the, there's the scene, like there's the teacher. She's teaching. Everybody's listening. It's the first day of school. They're very excited. Or we can add a bow just for, because we're card makers and it decorates it. So what do you think? Let me know. Scroll down, Gabriella. Ooh, I have to translate Gabriella. I have to translate it. Hopefully, thank you. Um, Donna, thanks. Janet, thank you. Jennifer, thank you. Jackie, thank you. <laughs> um, let me scroll down. G and love this bird set. Yes. Cat eye glasses. Thank you, Janet. Cat eye glasses for the teacher in this case. Um, Cheryl, you mentioned scrapbook pages. Are they available too? We are sold out of the scrapbook pages, Janet. I mean, Cheryl, I'm so sorry. Um, scrapbook class <clears throat> is while supplies last. And uh, Chris is finishing cutting it today and last night. <clears throat> excuse me. Someone registered and we sold the last set last night. I'm so sorry. The tutorials, though, you can get um, if you go register for the four monthly classes, four monthly classes, you can click that link. It'll take you to where uh, you can pay for all these classes. But one of the choices is tutorials only. Of course, my team gets those free. Um, thanks, Cindy. No bow. OK, we have one bow for, boat for no bow. Robin, no boat. Love how you've done these cards. No bows, Anna, two boats, no bow. Okay, row. Yeah, I think we're on no bow. I agree, but then I got scared. So I put it, I wasn't even going to glue it here. And then I was like, oh, I'll glue it down. Needs an embellishment. What's your recommendation? Thank you, Julie. Thanks, Stella. Thanks, Marsha. No bow on the last one. Thank you, Janet. The definitely majority is no bow. Get this iPad over here. I'm gonna unplug it. 
I can read. Yeah, okay, Robin, what's your suggestion? Landa, no bow. Valley Chick, no bow. Belinda, no bow. Yeah, every, oh, Jennifer, you're the, I think if I didn't miss one, you're the only one that wants a bow. <laughs> um, Jean, no. Love the second card too. Woohoo. Let me bring the cards back. One, two, three. Those are all three from today. Back to school fun. Um, all these elements are in my scrapbook um, pages for this month. The two that are back to school. Then we're doing a third one that's just pretty flowers. Um, but yeah, that class is sold out, unfortunately. Ooh, thank you, Robin. Thanks, Jan. Awesome. Well, y'all have a great week. Uh, by the way, I do not think I will be live next week, but there's a small, small, tiny maybe for Tuesday. If I do that, oh, and I have some additional samples here to show. If I do that Tuesday, uh, I'll have to plan it this weekend. So it's on my list to plan this weekend, but sometimes that just gets completely destroyed, that list. Um, to that class on Saturday in person, I'm always way too tired when I get home from that to do anything. So if I can plan it on Sunday, and this is a random side note, I wanted to point out this card, the one I made first, I cut this same polka dot designer paper, but then I literally noticed this yesterday. I was like, there not one dot shows. So that could have just been crushed curry here. You should cut it where the dots show <laughs> if you want if you care, like, otherwise don't use designer paper. That's a total random thing. But so you, you guys are, whoever wins, will get the one with the dots. Um, yes, Rose, see you in Vegas. Excited. Last card is Janet's favorite. I wonder why you won't be live. Exactly. So I leave on Wednesday for Vegas, um, like early. I don't know how it is. So um, if I do live, it'll be Tuesday. And I had a, I don't even remember what I thought I might be able to show without having to design, but I could make something. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to show you all these scrapbook pages once I get them back um, and I'm live again. So you can see that. Okay, don't forget about the recipe cards over on the blog, stamptherapist.com. I make these on my stampinstuff.com, which is a an inventory website. Go check it out. It's really awesome. Read the stuff at the top like click show more and read all that about the website. Um, and then let me last but not least show you all these additional samples that I have from different things. Okay. So this is a swap I received. I do not know from whom with the pencil uh, from everyday thanks. And it says, thank you for everything you do. Uh, she, I think used wild wheat. Yes. And moody mauve here. And it looks great. So another use for moody mauve on the pencil instead of the bright yellow. Uh, I don't know who made this one, but super awesome coloring on these birds. And she used the tree branch and leaves. Of course, amazing coloring again. Um, that background is the inked and tiled, but that's not the right name, designer paper. I'm blanking out on the name, but it's that inked and tiled. And this whole thing just goes together beautifully. Um, and then this one I love because they didn't color the bird in except for the nose. They did color the beak, but stamped the bird in, I think, pebbled path. Added the monocle, which I have not used that yet either. Monocle. And it says feel better soon. Super cute. And then these were from my team meeting last month. That's an optional add on. I'm like a make and take. They can take or not. <laughs> it's optional. Um, and so that's where these cards with the birds came from. The bird's eye view, bird's eye view. Of course, don't forget if you like to order any of these products, you will get a free class from me if your order is 25 or more with the August host code. You'll get that class sent to you in September uh, and a PDF tutorial emailed after I mail out the class. And um, uh, uh, 50 or more get you a free embellishment. So 
I'd like to scrapbook page PDFs. Cheryl, I can't remember if I, uh, let me write your name down. It's with the class registration. I'm writing your name, Cheryl, so I don't forget. Because finding these comments later, sometimes you're like, I know someone said this. Where's the comment? <laughs> um, scrapbook PDF. Anyway, if you get my emails at 1 p.m., there will be a link that says sign up for the August classes. In parentheses, scrapbook, stamp stack, blah, blah, blah. You click that link. And within that link is where you pay for the tutorials. And yes, you can only pay for tutorials and not take one actual class, if that makes sense. Um, yes, I know, Zana. Just click my link, Zana. That's all you have to do. And then it'll be one of the choices. Cheryl says no, Bo, also. <laughs> um, awesome. Thank you, Zana. Okay, well, thank you all so much. Have a great week, and hopefully I'll see you next week, but it's a maybe no. It's maybe not, but um, either way, have a great week, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.